Hello, everybody. I'm Kelly James Parker. You're tuned in to Spotlight on the Ozarks. My guest tonight is a fellow that I know pretty well, and we've worked together a lot of times, and you need to come and hear his story tonight. His name is Jason Richardson, and we'll be back right after this message. After those messages, my guest tonight is Jason Richardson. Hey, Kelly. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Hey, I'm doing great, and I'm thrilled to be here today with you. Well, you need to get a life. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've had a lot of fun, uh, played a lot of music together, and uh, tell the folks a little bit about uh, what you do and uh, what your interest is, and we'll go from there. Well, I'm a I'm a lead guitar player. I also do some singing. And I, my, my love of life is just to go around and play music and to get to meet people. And uh, I had a great opportunity to do that when I was uh, part of the Kelly's Country Junction show. And that's, uh, that's a pretty special memory to me. Yeah, that we did. That's, that's where we met, yep. actually, where we started <laughs> playing music together. We did a lot of stage shows. Yeah, that's you right. Quite a few of them, and you well, really think back. Well, and you know, you mentioned that's where we met, but I have to say a little, insert a little something there. I saw you a long time before that, but you didn't know me at the time. <laughs> this would have been back in the, the mid to late 90s at a place called the Fort Scott Jubilee in Fort Scott, Kansas. Boy. I was actually in the audience. I remember this guy came to the show that night. He was a special guest, and they called him Rockin' Kelly Lee. <laughs> yeah, that was a ways back. Now I'm still rockin' That's Kelly right. Lee. That's right, you're rockin'. <laughs> Well, you know, I I, lo I loved what you did back then. Like I say, I was in the audience, and uh, they had this uh, old upright piano on wheels, and they would roll that out sometimes. Yeah, I remember. And that. I remember they rolled that out, and man, you got to going on that piano, and uh, that was some that was some good music and some some great times there. And it's funny how later on down the road our paths kind of cross, and I actually got to work with you. Yeah. Yeah, I was with uh, the uh, producer of Kelly's Country Junction, and we went up to watch the show at Fort Scott, oh, you know. Wow. Uh, so you said you was in the audience. Uh, so you hadn't worked at the Jubilee? Yeah, yet? not at that point. So you ended up being the sound man. Yeah, actually I was part of the Fort Scott Jubilee Band for probably about eight years, and then the show had a really good run. They had some great people, Jack and Lil Sanders, that yeah. put on a weekly show for oh my goodness, I I want to say close to twenty years. Yeah, and uh, that was quite an undertaking. People don't realize they would have at least two special guests a week, a full band, yeah. and uh, it was amazing getting to 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 work with that, be part of the band, and to learn what all goes into yeah. doing something like that. But then later on, after they closed, uh, a great couple in Fort Scott, Steve and Nancy Cliffman, kind of uh, out of a labor of love, they wanted to have music there, and they started up the Fort Scott Country Music Show. And I, uh, I ran sound there as well as would get up and perform uh, a little bit during each show. Yeah, that's where I met you then when yes. you were doing that. Yeah, so you were the sound man. Uh, and I told the uh, producer of Kelly's Country Junction that night as we left, I said, that guy right there would make a good lead guitar player for a show. Oh, well, thank yeah. you. <laughs> and of course, on this show, you know, we'll be showing you probably, I'm sure that one of the commercials will be where you're at J. MT guitars, MJT, yes. MJT. Yes. Why well, say JMT? <laughs> yeah. I call them everything in the books, so, but they're uh, what are they? MJT. Well, uh, yeah, MJT uh, guitars are Mark Jenny Mark guitars Jenny yeah. in Carthage, Missouri. I have to stop and think of Mark Jenny to actually do it right. I don't call everything in the book, but anyway, so they kind of folks kind of know you on the commercial already. 
Really? Because you know, yeah. it's on almost every show, probably. So <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> uh, but so they also know you can play the guitar. <laughs> now you brought with you um, a video, and so we're going to play that uh, probably in the second segment. Oh yeah. And uh, it's a song that you wrote. Yes. <laughs> Uh, for, per, for personal experience. <laughs> there you go. I, you know, hey, I, no more said. Uh, no more know. said. That's <laughs> I've had my own personal experiences with uh, a lot of princesses. Yes, yes. <laughs> but uh, also, let me go back to say, I didn't, yeah, back to Rock and Kelly Lee. Man, that was way back. Uh, when I first went to uh, uh, Fort Scott Jubilee, it was owned and run by Shelly Wright's mom and dad. Yes. And I went up there to... Um, Actually, went up to audition for their piano player oh, wow. back in '95, I think, when they started it. Uh -huh. So, and I thought, what am I doing? You know, I don't want to. Well, I can't, uh, you know. And and so they had these different people going up, and they were singing. And uh, so I laughed. <laughs> See, they didn't know that, but I I, la I was I'm like, ah, forget this. I laughed. Oh, so everybody's sitting there for audition, and I got my car and went around the block. And uh, I started to leave. I thought, I'm going to go eat. That's yes, wild. Well, I'll go eat. I ain't going to get a job in there. And it was like God spoke to me. He said, get back on there and, and audition. I'm like, all right. So I went back and turned in again and got back up in there and waited my turn and got up there. And I was doing some piano stuff. I was doing Jerry Lewis. And I did. Uh, then finally, I was playing the uh, I Found My Thrill. Oh, yeah. And they stopped me. See, midway, and I thought, well, that's not a good sign. <laughs> and Shelly Wright's mom comes up. I forgot her name. Do you remember her name? Oh, um, oh my goodness. I know it, but my mind's going blank at the yeah, moment. I can't thank them. But anyway, she come up to me, and uh, she whispered and goes, what do you do anyway? She said, do you work anywhere? And, she, and I said, no, not right now. I said, I just moved to the Ozarks not just a year or two ago. She said, could you come up here every week and play and be our piano oh, player? Oh, so God. I got a job like that. So I'm oh. like, yeah, I could do that. So, awesome. So that's, but then, of course, I started traveling again quite a bit. And so I wasn't there but just a short time uh -huh. and went on. And then they got, um, I don't know if they got another piano player right off, but they got, um, they had a good guitar player. Yeah, I, know, his name? I know him well, Stan Stuckey. That's it, Stan yep. Stuckey. I couldn't think of his name. <laughs> I need Stan on here some evening. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's He'd from be the a area. Great, great yeah. One. So anyway, that was a lot of fun, though. And so but that's where we met you, and then we had you come do Kelly's Country <laughs> Junction. Um, what did you think the first time that you walked in to the studio? <laughs> and it, uh, it was it was pretty amazing because I had actually saw some of your your early shows. Uh, in fact, the Steve and Nancy Cliffman that did the Fort Scott Country Music Show, they would have Darlene and I go over to their house when Kelly's would come on, and wow. we would watch it watch it over there. And so we kind of were familiar. With you, but when I came to uh, to the set, it was uh, it was surprising at what all you did in such a small space. I did. That was my impression. Yeah, <laughs> and here here we are again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're in the same studio. So you know, folks are watching us here, so they don't realize what's on that side and this side. And, um, there's a set there, and there's a wall back there to set. We got an outhouse over here, and there's memories in about every corner. <laughs> I look at <laughs> there is yeah and we've done so much stuff in here it's a, i was telling our cameraman mike i said man if these walls could talk that's the if truth. the pig on the wall had a voice <laughs> that's the truth we had a ton of fun in here wasn't nothing bad happened but we sure had a lot of fun so uh, they're telling us we got about a minute and a half left so um what uh, we'll come back when we come back i want to talk to you about what you're doing now sure we don't have time to really get into it right now but you're doing Still doing music. Oh, yes. And, you know, it's amazing. The stuff before I came to Kelly's Country Junction that actually prepared me for that. And it's funny in life, sometimes you don't even know things are preparing you for other opportunities down the road. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that was just such a good fit for me at that point in my, my life. And uh, I'm, that's something I'm real, real grateful for. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I appreciate you being on and being our lead guitar player because, like I say, he was awesome. I had you... We had Bob York on drums. Yep. We had uh, Vern Leeper on uh, rhythm guitar. Yep. We ended up with Johnny Rose on steel, and we ended up with a guy that said he couldn't play a bass. <laughs> what a liar. <laughs> Rick Vaughn, if you're looking. That's we ended right. up with Rick Vaughn on bass guitar. And so we had the all-star band of 
the Joplin, Missouri area. <laughs> you know, it was awesome. So, yes. well, we're going to go to a message, and uh, when we come back, we're going to actually show a clip, or not a clip. We're going to show the video, right? We're yeah, going to show the whole video. That'd be great of your uh, music video called. From a princess to a royal pain, but the short title is just Royal Pain. <laughs> okay. And I played that on my radio show. All right. Well, yeah. thank you. Yeah, you bet. All right. Well, uh, we're going to a message, and we'll be back right after this. Hello, folks. My name's Jason Richeson. I'm the lead guitar player for Kelly's Country Junction, and I'm here to tell you about MJT Guitars, made in Carthage, Missouri. If you would like a custom-made vintage style guitar, then you need to talk to Mark Jenny. He'll help you out with the style, feel, and sound you're looking for. They specialize in custom-age finishes and are priced affordable, made with you in mind for the perfect sound and fit. MJT Guitars. Made for the working man. And we're back after those messages with my guest tonight, Jason Richeson. Uh, Jason, if the folks had watched the uh, earlier uh, mm -hmm. scene, they know that you played on Kelly's Country Junction, that you are a guitar player. Yes. Do you play anything besides a guitar? Well, I I play, of course, bass guitar, which most guitar players can play bass. I play... Once you figure out yeah. the top <laughs> yeah. four strings. Yeah, I, I play a little banjo, which nothing to write home about, but I can I can pick along with you. And uh, and I'm thinking about ordering me a... Uh, it's called a guitar lele. <laughs> It's like a ukulele, but it's yeah. strung like a guitar. Well, and so, anyway, no, no, no uh, commitment there. But <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll hold you to that. No. One. No. Uh, you know, earlier too, you were talking about um, uh, MJT guitars. Tell yeah. the folks about that and how that uh, commercial. Well, the commercial came for Kelly's Country Junction, but something happened for you before. Yeah. And while we did a commercial. Well, you know, so many neat things came through Kelly's Country Junction. Aside from meeting a lot of neat people and, and some famous people, too, one of the, the very uh, special things to me is uh, there's a guitar guitar place that's just a little ways from where we film at yeah. in Carthage, Missouri, called MJT Guitars. Yeah. And their specialty is making uh, vintage-style uh, guitars that kind of uh, are like your... Uh, the Fender style of, of guitars, which is, you know, yes, uh, yes. Uh, I don't want to get into copyright infringement, so I'm trying to word this carefully. But well, you, they make them look you, old. Yeah. And like they're handed down from your grandfather. Yes, it, that's exactly right. And, you know, that's the one thing. I'd had a lot of nice guitars, in, uh, uh, but one thing I didn't have was a vintage guitar because yeah. my, I didn't have a grandpa or dad that played no. uh, an instrument. And so uh, th this is, was kind of their specialty, and they had uh, approached you and said that they would kind of like to uh, uh, sponsor the uh -huh. show a little bit. And Told me, so I think they mentioned that they wanted to make a guitar. I don't know if they mentioned to make you a guitar first or me, but um, if they mentioned to make me one, then I'm sure I said, well, Jason's one you need to make one for. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, because he's the lead guitar player. You know? yeah, well, I appreciate that, But they Kelly. did make me one. Yes. It was my uh, buck, I call it. Have you still got buck? <laughs> I sure do. Okay. Take good care Hang of it on for you. I'm, I'm taking care one of it. One of these days, I might come visit. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but uh, no use me having buck. I can't play buck that well. So. Oh, you do but, great. Uh, buck was the red, white, and blue Buck Owens guitar. Yep. And so they made me that one. And then they did what for you? Though. Well, they they made me a guitar, and it was really a neat experience. I got to go to their to their shop there, and I got to look through hundreds of bodies and necks, and I got to pick out exactly yeah. the, what I wanted, the color I wanted, wow. and uh, they even had some custom pinstriping done and a, a B bender installed. They they were were wonderful, and I I got to thank Mark Mark yeah. Jenny and his whole family for. For, uh, that, and you as well for for putting in a good word and getting getting that lined up. Well, I'm sure he would have. If, I don't remember how it came about. It may have been you had the guitar first, and 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 they decided. Well, I guess we'll give old Kelly one. <laughs> no. I don't remember how it happened because no. I wasn't that great. But, but since we had the TV show, and we were all in kind of the same area. You know, it's kind of worked that way. But another thing that that uh, commercial did, and the guitars from Mark Jenny's guitars. Is took you to Nashville. Tell us That's about right. that. That's right. Oh, that was another awesome experience, uh, courtesy of Kelly's Country Judge well, and MJT. Keep, you keep saying <laughs> well, that, but actually, MJT well, that, guitars yes. could have found you without us. Well, so, well, thank you. Yeah. It all works together. Yeah, but, I'll, but, I'll accept that. But thank you anyway. Well, Mark, Mark had uh, had asked me. He said, "Would you uh, ever be interested in making a trip to Nashville?" And I said, "Well, sure." You know, I, I thought. <laughs> 
Would you ask a guitar player, would you be interested in going to Nashville? Uh, well, let me think this over. Hey, we're packed. That's right. Well, anyway, he had told me there's this show in Nashville. It's on Fox 17 called Rock and Review. And the host is a guy named Eric Daw. Wonderful, wonderful guy. Very yeah. knowledgeable about guitars. He needs to have us on. That's right. That's right. Let's tell Eric well, about that. Well, man, he is. I'll, I'll tell you, Eric Dahl, this, this blew me away because... I didn't know about it, so I got to looking it up on the internet, and I found out like the the week before this, they'd had uh, Ricky Skaggs on, yeah. they'd had Ray Benson from Asleep at the Wheel, I know. he's had Dolly yeah. Parton, Kenny yeah. Rogers, I mean all, all the big names on there. Yeah. And what they do is uh, is uh, each week they would uh, take something guitar related, since Nashville's Music City, right. and uh, Eric had kind of pitched this idea to the station there, and um, they would have something guitar related, and then right. some. So he had saw MJ guitars. On uh, on the internet and was really impressed by by their pictures and by the product that they had and he, he invited uh, Mark to to have someone go there and, and show their guitars and talk about it so yeah. uh, they actually paid for my and my wife's way to go and uh, paid for our motel the gas and everything yeah. we got to meet Eric and and we felt like stars <laughs> for, yeah. for that time it was awesome and not only that we got to go down on. Broadway, and uh, since you know I had some music friends, and I was on Kelly's Country Junction, they had talked to some of the bands there on Broadway. So whenever I went in, they had me get up and yeah. and play with them, and I got some awesome yeah. pictures and videos from that. So thank you, thank yeah. you guys for that. That was wonderful. Well, that, I remember seeing some of those videos and uh, the old Nashville pickers. <laughs> yeah. and you was, and how much anybody you held uh, your own with them? Well, thank you, oh, <laughs> thank you. Whether they think so or not, we don't care. I'm telling you, it is. Uh, hey, I tell you what, let's do right now. I want to go and show the folks your music video. Oh, awesome. Now, set this up. And we're okay. Gonna, we're gonna well, I'll tell you, this here video is done with, with uh, good heartedly. <laughs> there is a, uh, there is a, uh, uh, this mindset going around today with, with girls. Uh, I call it the princess mentality. Uh -huh. And from the time that they're little, you know, we and kind of. And those cards and letters will, <laughs> no, or Facebook will go to Jason Richardson, not <laughs> spotlight on the Ozarks. <laughs> no, no, from the time they're little, we kind of tell them they're princesses and we spoil yeah. them. That, that's, that's good. But if it goes unchecked, it can be a bad thing. <laughs> As they get older. As they get older, yeah. yeah you want to balance that. So yeah. I thought when uh, this idea came to mind, I thought it's kind of something a lot of guys. And, and ladies can relate to because I'm sure in your families and uh, people you come in contact you've kind of seen this here uh, personality before uh -huh. and uh, I think uh, when you, you, you see the part where it talks about uh, being on your cell phone and taking selfies it might yeah. strike a chord with a lot of That's people. Funny. <laughs> okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the uh, video right now and then we'll be right back after we show the video the name of it is Royal Pain. You were such little sweet thing when I first met you such a vision of beauty charm and grace oh but time has marched on and you have changed dear from a princess into a royal pain from a princess into a royal pain well, those words your daddy told you I must have got stuck in your brain Royalty is how you see yourself And you demand we all see the same You have grown from a princess Into a royal pain Well, you're always on your cell phone when we go out And it's clear from all those selfies Well, you're all you think about If you acted more like a lady girl I'd treat you like a queen And you have grown from a princess Into a royal pain from a princess into a royal pain Those words your daddy told you Must have got stuck in your brain Royalty is how you see yourself And you demand we all see the same You could grow from a princess Into a royal pain 
Well, I may have been a toad, but that's long changed You must have had the same curse, only slightly rearranged You'd be sweeter as a peasant girl than what you are today You have grown from a princess into a royal fame from a princess into a royal pain Those words your daddy told you I must have got stuck in your brain Royalty is how you see yourself And you demand the world see the same You have grown from a princess Into a royal pain well, You're the beauty, I'm the beast has become your mind's refrain You have grown from a princess into a royal pain Yeah, baby, you're no princess Well, you are a royal pain Oh boy! Well, uh, Mr. Jason, that's uh, that's quite a video. Well, thank you, Kelly. And I like that video. Well, thank you. Who put that together for you? And do you want to well, tell? Well, actually, um, it's something I had wrote in for a year or so. I was really wanting to make a video, but uh, the right chance came along to where there's a little group I'm playing with now called Next of Kin, uh -huh. and there's a wonderful harmony singer named Shanna Lynette, and her son does video work. Uh, and so, anyway. We uh, we asked him if he would come and shoot the video for us, and I put his name in the credits there, so yeah. I'll, I'll let you go back and look at that. Yeah. But uh, we got to do that in Fort Scott at a little place called the Hometown Pub. And Kelly, you are responsible for some of the look in that video. If you notice that uh, that nice shiny jacket I was wearing, uh -huh. <laughs> we did a video on Kelly's Country Junction called Running with the Big Dog. Is a song you wrote? Oh, yeah. You sang part of it, and I yeah, sang part yeah. of it. Well, I had forgot that we even recorded it, and then you posted it. And I looked back, and it turned out so good, and I was wearing that jacket, and I thought, that was so neat. I'm going to use that if I do a video for my song. So you're, you're, cool. you're partly responsible for that. Well, that's good that I'm responsible for something decent, at least. <laughs> I get a lot of blame for a lot of stuff. Oh, no. uh, when we come back from commercial, we'll have to uh, show a little bit of that uh, running with the big dog. Oh, that'd be great. I own that. Yes. <laughs> that's why I wrote that song. Awesome. So, okay, well, I'll tell you what. We're going to um, go to another commercial, set of commercials, whatever. And when we come back, though, I want you to talk a little bit about the bands you're with now. Okay. Uh, and then you also, you said you recorded that at a place called The Pub. I thought it was at your place up well, there. Well, actually, the, the music track I recorded at, at my, my house, and I, I call it r, &R Recording okay. Studio. Okay. And uh, we did everything there except the piano track, and that was a friend of mine in Cherokee named uh, Tim Letchworth. And he actually played that and sent it through me by the computer, yeah. so we put it in there. And, uh, Isn't that amazing? It is amazing. I uh, love technology for that kind of of stuff yes yeah. yeah. I we actually work on another show with a uh, lady from New York oh. and she does her stuff and sends me the video and we put the show together that's that's pretty, it is pretty amazing isn't it yeah yes. so um, okay well we're gonna run a commercial uh, and then we'll be back right after this and we're gonna uh, do a follow-up with Jason Richardson it's Fonzie Hey, Fonz, did you watch Kelly James in the 70s review show? Oh, yeah. No, it's hey. Hey.
running with the big dog. And I'm running with the hot dog. We're, We're running, running and playing the music with all our friends. I'm running with the big dog. And I'm running with the hot dog. We're running and burning a candle at both ends. And we're back out of that, uh, well, set of commercials. Plus, we just showed a little clip from uh, the big dog, right. running with the big dog. That was you and me. I like yeah, it. That striking uh, man in the black hat was me. Did you have a black hat on? I believe I did. Well, then it, it was that striking man. It wasn't me. No, 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 no. One of us was striking, and the other was struck. Yeah, that's good. Hey. Um, you just got back from a trip. I did. Um, I got to go on my very first ever cruise, and I was part of uh, the Duke Mason band. So that yeah. was a, a really neat experience for me. Who else was uh, with you? Uh, actually, the special guest was uh, Barbara Fairchild and her husband Roy Morris. And uh, you're familiar with her, I, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They was on Kelly's Country Junction a couple of times. There was so many neat people that came through here, uh, and I got to actually meet. And uh, she was she was one of them. Yeah, yeah. You want to watch it happen to have. Oh, oh yes. Thank because you, uh, we, it's, the, we got a cheap show. <laughs> so people don't know, but the mic's just right there. Oh right down there. That's where the mic is, right? right hey, Mike, there. show the mic. Go ahead and show, and show these boots while you're oh. at it. That was one of my souvenirs from uh, from the cruise. <laughs> now, see the mic? There's where the mic is. Okay, there's now, where it is. here's my shoes. Awesome. And go oh, ahead, okay. there, bud. Oh, okay, okay, there we go. See our shoes? We, we got, yes. <laughs> that, that now, now, show your shoes and tell about it. <laughs> well, actually, on the cruise, we made a stop in Belize, and I'd always wanted a pair of Stingray boots. Yeah. But um, they're, they're really expensive, you know, if you go to yeah. a Western store and they cool. even have them. But anyway... Uh, I, you can get some good deals down there if you barter a little bit. So uh, this was one of my my good deals, one of my souvenirs I got to bring back. <laughs> so how much? I'm not. Don't tell me how much. But uh, was it? Uh, what could you buy in the United States with equivalent of what you paid for those? Oh, let's see here. A hamburger. Uh, <laughs> well, a little more than a hamburger, but <laughs> but anyway, we'll just. Yeah. Okay, yeah, hamburger and fries. <laughs> there you go. Okay. There you go. Hey, you mentioned uh, Duke Mason. Mm -hmm. um, you play with his band and any other bands? Yeah, uh, there, there's a, a, a guy that's a really good singer. His name's Rick Cook, and, uh, and he has a, a, a great band, and I get to play with him quite a bit. I had mentioned Next of Ken earlier, who I did uh -huh. the video with. Yeah. Um, I was part of Stone Country for a couple years. Great bunch of people, great musicians, and and uh, r right after the the Kelly's Country Junction, I had actually was part of a show called Will and May and Friends. It was like a traveling yeah. uh, Branson style show. Yeah, Kathy and I come and saw you oh. on, on that. Remember if you remember? Yes, we, we saw that. It was a good show. That 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 was some neat memories. And you know, I, there's a lot of uh, local Opry's that I really enjoy going to. Sometimes I'll go as a guest, and sometimes I go uh, to to fill in as a lead player for the bands yeah, and yeah. Uh, there's there's one called the Big Creek Opry up by Harrisonville Missouri another one called okay. the Ottawa Op or the Grand Ole Opry in Ottawa Kansas okay. and uh, th so it's just a lot of fun any yeah. chance I get to go play I, I try to do it okay cool um, so the people can uh, if they're on your Facebook or if they look you up Jason Richardson they could see where you're playing do you ever yeah. uh, tell people I'm going to be here this Saturday yeah or? usually like uh, the week of I'll put a post on my Facebook page and and my last name is a little unusual it's like rich I can is, do it oh you got it here you tell me so many times it's rich the, <laughs> Mike's talking to himself you know, it's time to go now uh, don't get excited anyway, it's rich is on Right, is that it? That's it. You okay. got it. <laughs> I always remember. And I still can spell it wrong sometimes. <laughs> Whatever. But, um, yeah, we got to uh, uh, have Duke on sometime. Oh, that would be a so, great, great guest. Yeah. He's super he's talented a lot of guy. stuff, too. So, and that's okay. It's just the timer going off. So, but we're still talking. So, uh, you're from, uh, we never did say this in the show, you're from Fort Scott, Kansas. Uh, yes, uh, I'm originally... Oh, that's where you live. Yeah, I live from oh. Fort Scott, Kansas, originally from Modesto, California. Okay, and you're married? Yes. And your sweet. wife's name? Darlene Richardson, and she is a sweetheart. Uh, thank thank God, because, uh, you know, as a musician, that's what it takes. <laughs> let, yeah, uh, see, I couldn't find that. That's why I got uh, more. Uh, Mine kept telling me, no more guitars. I'm like, well, that ain't going to work. <laughs> no. 
and then I don't have that many anyway. Uh, mine would be hateful. They'd say stuff like, you can't play it. Why do you want to buy it? <laughs> don't they know if uh, you get another guitar, it makes you play better? Oh, yeah. yeah. The more guitars you have, the better you play. <laughs> Everyone knows that. <laughs> well, they ought to, but not all of them. No. <laughs> okay, well, Jason, I've, I've enjoyed tonight. Um, we haven't even scratched the surface of what you do, your talent oh, and um, stuff, but thanks for being my guest, and you got to come back. Oh, I love that, Kelly, and thank you for having me. Batman. <laughs> All right, my guest tonight has been Jason Richardson. He's a, he's a just a dear friend, and also he's a wonderful musician. So if you need a wonderful musician, a wonderful, wonderful one, uh, hey, have you got a website? Uh, just Facebook. Facebook? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're going to put your website on. <laughs> anyway, look him up on Facebook, and you won't be sorry. Jason Richardson. Richardson. You got it. Okay. We'll be back next week with another great guest. Uh, I don't know who. We never know. We never know if I'll show it keep, up. It keeps things interesting that way. <laughs> we might. My guest might be Mike the cameraman. That'd be a good one. He's. I mm, mean, boy. I mean. Anyway, we'll be back next week with somebody and uh, some show. So you be sure and watch this. Uh, 